हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सक्सेस एजुकेशन टुडे विल बी डूइंग द वर्कबुक सॉल्यूशन फॉर सोशल साइंस फॉर स्टैंडर्ड एट चैप्टर नंबर फोर दैट इज द सुप्रीम कोर्ट बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टिल नाउ प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब इट फॉर मोर वीडियोस सो विल स्टार्ट विद द फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स फर्स्ट वन अवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हैज केप्ट द जुडिशरी इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द लेजिस्लेचर एंड द एग्जीक्यूटिव बॉडीज सेकेंड द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ अवर कंट्री इज इन न्यू डेली थर्ड Among all the courts of the country the supreme court is the highest fourth the right to confer fundamental rights granted to us lies with the supreme court fifth the supreme court solves disputes between the center and the states and between two states sixth a dam has been built on river narmada at navagam in gujarat seventh every person can go to court for the protection of his or her fundamental rights Eighth, the Supreme Court accepted and implemented the structure of public interest litigation, that is PIL, for poor people in the year 1980. Now we'll continue with question number two, that is true or false. First one, according to the Indian Constitution, the judiciary is one of the important organs of the government. It is true. Second, among all the courts of the nation, the High Court has the highest status. It is false. Third. The Supreme Court of our nation is in Ahmedabad it is false fourth due to the Sardar Sarovar yojana many areas of Gujarat Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan can get water it is true fifth in our constitution the judiciary has been kept independent from the legislature and executive bodies of our country it is true now we'll continue with question number 3 keeping the ratlam municipality case in mind read the sentences given below put a right against the sentences which are correct and a wrong against the sentences which are incorrect means here also we have to do true or false first one municipality took the uh, case to district court as it was dissatisfied with the decision given by the lower court it is true second municipality appealed to the high court against the judgment given by the supreme court it is false third the supreme court approved the judgment given by the high court it is false and the corrected sentences for second and third are second one municipality appeal to the supreme court against the judgment given by the high court and third one is the supreme court approved the judgment given by the taluka court now we'll continue with question number 4 that is answer in one or two sentences first one what type of hierarchy is of courts is followed in our country to impart justice there is a hierarchy of courts to impart justice in our country it starts with the taluka court as the lowest court succeeded by the district court the high court and the supreme court second one where is the supreme court of our country located so the supreme court of our country is located in delhi third one which court is the highest among all courts of our country the supreme court is the highest among all courts of our country fourth one which disputes does the supreme court solve the supreme court solves disputes between citizens and the government between states and between the center and state fifth one who protested against increasing the height of the narmada dam above 110 meters environmentalist organizations and ngos from madhya pradesh and other regions protested against increasing the height of narmada dam above 110 meters Sixth one. In which year and in whose favor did the Supreme Court pass judgment regarding the height of the Narmada Dam? On eighth March two thousand six, in the favor of Gujarat government, the Supreme Court passed judgment regarding the height of the Narmada Dam. Seventh one. What will happen if powerful or influential people control the judiciary? There would be no impartial uh, judgment if powerful or influential people control the judiciary. Eighth one in our constitution, what has the judiciary been kept independent of? In our constitution, the judiciary has been kept independent of legislature and executive. Ninth one, who protects the fundamental rights of citizens? High courts and the Supreme Court protects the fundamental rights of citizens. Tenth one, what arrangement has the Supreme Court made to ensure that poor people also get justice? PIL that is public interest litigation arrangement by the supreme court has been made to ensure that poor people also get justice 11th one why is it difficult for poor people to go to the court poor people do not uh, have money they can neither read nor write and they can earn their livelihood by doing manual labor for the whole day 
thus due to lack of funds and time it is difficult for poor uh, to go to courts twelfth one when can the supreme court itself pass a judgment in public interest if the supreme court feels that the human rights of some community are being violated then it can take it upon itself to pass a judgment in public interest 13th one what does the high court or supreme court do if the public interest litigation regarding fundamental rights is inappropriate should the application for uh, public welfare be unsound or inappropriate then the individual group or institution which has made the application can be punished or penalized by the high court or supreme court now we will continue with question number 5 answer the following briefly first one explain the hierarchy of courts followed in our country there is a hierarchy of courts to impart justice in our country it starts with the taluka court as the lowest court succeeded by the district court the high court and the supreme court second one why is judiciary independent if the judiciary is not independent of the legislature and the executive body, people holding high posts like ministers, MLAs, etc. can easily pressurize judges and use their clout for their own benefit. Should this happen, judges will never be able to give unbiased justice to ensure that judges can give their verdict fearlessly and without any sort of partiality or bias, the judiciary should be independent. Third question, state the various judgments given by different courts in the case of Ratlam municipality. So the answer is, Supreme Court decision regarding a municipality that claims an inability to provide basic situ uh, sanitation facilities and prevent street contamination as required by section 123 of the MP Municipalities Act of 1961 due to a claimed uh, lack of financial ability residents of the municipality successfully brought suit under section 133 of the criminal procedure code to compel the municipality to remove the public nuisance and here we come to the end of chapter number four that is the supreme court if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section i'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you